and it's Mega Maniac here back for another video and today we're gonna be doing um a video I've wanted to do for a while um I honestly at the moment don't really have any ideas um of what I'm gonna do uh, for today's video so I'm just gonna record this video and post it um because I have no other ideas for what videos I should make so, oof, me. But today, we're going to be talking about why Halo Infinite is worrying. And its graphics are really bad. Now, don't worry, I still love the gameplay. I think all the gameplay is great. I love, I, I love everything about this game. Except the graphics. Because you can see, like, in this picture, um, this Elite is, like... They, the, the bullets are like, I, I, I don't know, it's odd. And then, like, there's no shadows, and sometimes shadows will flicker in and out. Like, shadows will be there, and then they'll not be there, or clouds will be there, and they won't be there, sort of stuff. That's really weird. But, again, keep in mind, everyone, just want to say, keep in mind, this is not a finished game. There is a gameplay review sh trailer that came out a little while ago. Um, before this one, and apparently this is on a really old build, don't know, and the actual review trailer was on a newer build. Why they didn't just put the gameplay, why they didn't just put the actual gameplay in, like, the actual gameplay, the thing that is gonna wow people the most on the newest build, I, I, I'm not quite sure about that, because... In the gameplay review trailer, you see stuff actually has textures. Like, they have textures. They, like, they look, like, this assault rifle here, um, has no textures. <laughs> it's completely lacking any sort of texture. Um, and, like, the Elite here, um, the shadows just don't really work on the Elite, but, yeah. So, they... Gameplay build is a lot better. Not perfect, but it is still pretty good. I'm pretty confident that Halo Infinite will fix these bugs by release. And, like... I, I, I hope they have everything. Because people have been speculating that Halo Infinite won't have multiplayer at launch, which would be devastating. Absolutely devastating. But I'm... Almost, I'm like 99% sure that is not going to happen. Because 343 has got their priorities straight here in this game. They're doing a spiritual reboot. Which might even mean killing off Locke. I mean, will we have Locke killed? Eh, that's still kind of a 50-50. We do have some more news about, like, stuff. Um, that's been leaked through interviews and stuff. I haven't been personally interviewed, but, you know, that stuff. I'm only going to cover, like, the stuff that's been posted in articles, IGN and stuff. Because I don't really want to deal with it there. If you want more information on, like, the interviews and stuff, I'll have, I'll have a link down below to Hidden Xperia's video. Who is a pretty cool dude. Um, um... I saw his video, and he, he he's kind of odd, but he, he does do some pretty good content, and he did an interview, so if you want all that all of that information, go down, but yeah, you can go down and do that. So apparently, um, that apparently this game won't have four-player split screen, that's one thing this game won't have, um, which is sad. We move like what what you're seeing here is not the best and i switched to this picture because this is another thing that people hate and have hated in halo since its inception in halo reads sprint everyone says sprint doesn't belong in a halo game and you, again you can have your opinion but i don't really think that I just think Sprint is, it's great in a Halo game. I love it in a Halo game. The few things that are 
finish that I don't like in this game are personally the shotgun and magnum. Yeah, that's just my opinion here. The shotgun looks nothing like any shotgun we've ever had in Halo. It's, it's, it's very odd. And then, of course, the magnum is looks just like it's been ripped out of some other game and slapped into here. I don't know, but sprints fine. Um, but the graphics are really worrying, as you can see. Like, there's part of mountains are disappearing. Stuff is glitching. I I saw stuff in the trailer, like in in like the corner of my eye, go flying across the screen. Like, not the ground stacks intentional, but like a like this weird rock go flying across the screen. And that's not really good when stuff starts freaking out like that. Um, it's also birthed a few memes. Like, Craig. Oh my god, what the hell is this? This is stupid. Well, yeah, um, the graphics birthed Craig. Everyone say hi to Craig, and then I think there's also Gregory. Like, what? What what is happening? <laughs> what these aren't memes. This is for like one tenth of a second. And then Greg is born. And it's and I can't go anywhere without seeing Craig, so uh, he became such a meme that he's rivaling eat your nose spam. Like what 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 is this here? My favorite scene from the whole trailer, and the best thing I've ever seen. I can watch it over and over. I have watched this over and over, and I still get hyped and excited. Like, the first time I saw it, when I see this. Like. Wow. And then, like, this brute. This brute is a savage beast. I love this brute. Um. Set a fire in your heart, Spartan. Great. And apparently that was also the final battle. So hopefully this guy's going to be a boss battle and not some die that crap where you have to press a button and you stick him with a grenade. And you don't even have a control to stick him with a grenade. And then in a cutscene, he dies. Why don't you just do that in a boss battle? Why don't you do that in a boss battle? Help. I really hope that this is a boss battle. Halo 5 kind of did boss battles with a warden. <laughs> but, this is my opinion here. I hated the warden eternal because he kept popping up. He would never leave me alone. And, I, 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 from one gameplay, you can become an expert of killing and fighting warden eternal. So, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I would want to become an expert of Fighting Warden Eternal, but if you wanted to, you could. That's kind of worrying. But Halo Infinite, again, this guy still doesn't have the best graphics. He's definitely the best graphics thing in the in this trailer, um, for sure. But his hologram, like his neck is like stretched out, like it. it but they're. But he looks a lot better like this. I don't know if this was on a newer build. But if this is on an older build, I can't wait to see how it looks in full game. Um, hmm. Yeah, probably my favorite brute character. Uh, probably will be my favorite brute character. Uh, I know Atriox is really cool, but... If you really think about it, Atriox didn't do a lot, and for for the way that Halo Infinite is telling its story and telling, and the hints we've gotten about Atriox, it sounds a lot like he's dead. But like he was stuck on the ring, stuck not stuck on the ring, stuck on the Ark. So how is he gonna get off the Ark? Um. So he might have just gotten killed. <laughs> Honestly. That would suck. But then again, he didn't do a lot. I 
just don't feel like that would be wasted potential. Because as much as I like this brew, if the potential of Atriox was used, this could have been Atriox saying this. You know what? I would have been. This would have been two times more crazy and cool if this was Atriox saying it. But, yeah, it's a, it's, it, huh, I'm also pretty, I'm 100% sure that this was the guy who is, is talking in the Bandit's Reveal trailer. You think of Nathan Foe straight thing that happened? Um, yeah, honestly, Halo Infinite is kind of bad, the gameplay that we saw, but I hope it's not a bad game. I hope they can resolve this. Also, I completely forgot to mention this in the breakdown video, but we have a release date. Well, not a full date, but we know it's holidays 2020. I was almost 99% sure we weren't getting Halo Infinite for another year. And now they've set a goal to get it out by the holidays. Oh my god. Also, there's rumors. I don't know if this is confirmed. It might be confirmed. I think there's rumors that Halo Infinite will be available on the Xbox One Series Pass, I think, which I have, so I could probably play Halo Infinite. I don't have Steam, so I couldn't play it like the betas and stuff, but I could definitely play Halo Infinite if I wanted to. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I, I don't know why, see, if everyone has an Xbox One, and if Halo Infinite releases on the Xbox One and the Xbox One X, what will be the go- what- what- <laughs> like, no one will want to buy, like, all the people who have an Xbox One wouldn't want to buy the- if they're just Halo fans, and they were just gonna get that console for the Halo Infinite, they're not gonna get- the Xbox One X. It takes up a lot of space. It's massive. I mean, I, I, hey, it's better than the PlayStation 5. Like, that thing just looks like some Dorito. Not Dorito, like tortillas. It's like, what, what, is, what, what are these consoles? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's making fun of these sizes, and I can't help but get it. But yeah, um, it's basically everything new. How I am skeptical, but I am pretty confident that Halo Infinite will have good graphics. That they give it time. It's not a finished game, okay, people. If if, if you, I don't see you really judge Halo Infinite <laughs> by Halo Three standards. Because Halo Infinite is not a finished game. And if you didn't know, Halo 3 is my favorite Halo game. Also, Halo 3 was the most hyped Halo game. And then Halo 4 came out and everyone was pissed. Now, yeah, so that's about it. I don't really, I, I, I again, I had no idea what I was going to do for today's video. Trying to upload daily, but that's getting harder and harder. Um, since essentially we only have two days until August first, and also two days to that mock contest ends. Come on, people! You can also send me the picture on Discord if you don't have the time um, to post a video. So yeah, um, with all that, um, like five hundred first battle pack and stuff. And possibly getting it this week. Like. <laughs> like we only have like one more day. Of like these filler videos. That I'm going to be doing. To kind of like fill up the space. And then I'm going to go berserk. And try to get as many Halo Infinite. Mega Contract set reviews as out as possible. Try to buy as much stuff as possible. And then I have another like two week so like where where I have filler videos. That's for a whole other update video for real. So yeah, everyone, hope you all enjoyed this video. See you all next time. Bye bye.